Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial on this channel. So this time we are going to take a look at how we can write a utility script to find out all the prefabs in our project that have missing components or missing scripts on them. So last week as I was upgrading my project Slidey Poop from uh, Unity 2017 to Unity 2019, I ran into this issue where a bunch of prefabs in my project had missing scripts on them. So I wrote a utility script that could uh, just help me find all these objects. And I thought I might share this information or this knowledge with you guys and maybe help some of you all out there. So let's take a quick look at the project we have here. We have a sample scene that has a main camera and uh, that's it. So let's go ahead and create a test script. Let's create an empty object, call it prefab1. And then let's add the test script as a component and uh, let's drag this and create a prefab out of that. Now let's rename this to prefab2 and create a new prefab. Let's just go ahead and create two more prefabs, prefab3 and prefab4. Let's go and delete this. So now we have four prefabs in our project that have the test script on them. So let's go ahead and delete this script. So now we have four prefabs that have missing scripts on them. And we are going to write a utility script that will help us find these prefabs. So the way I want this to work is I want to create a menu item under component that will have an item over here that we can click and then it will list all the prefabs with missing scripts. So let's go ahead and create a script, call it find game objects with missing scripts. And let's open this up. So we want the script to be an editor script. So let's go ahead and say using unity editor and let's change this to editor. Let's remove the start and update functions. So we want to create a menu item under component uh, that when we click lists out all the prefabs with missing scripts. So let's go ahead and create a menu item and we want it to be under component. Let's say, let's call the item find objects with missing scripts. And when you create a menu item, you need to provide a static function that Unity can call when you click on that menu item. So let's call this function find game objects. Now if we save this and go back to Unity, you can see that under component, we now have this option find objects with missing scripts. So when you click on it, it really doesn't do anything. So that's what we are going to implement in this static function. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get all the paths to prefabs in our project. Then we are going to load each prefab. We are going to get all components on this prefab and then finally we are going to check if any component is null because if any component is null it means we have a prefab with missing component all right so let's go through this one by one so first we need to get all the paths to all the prefabs in our project so let's create a array of strings to hold the paths, prefab paths. And we are going to query the asset database and say, get all asset paths. But the thing is get all asset paths is going to return a list of paths to all the assets and not just prefabs. So we want to apply some kind of a filter to the list uh, that is re returned by this function to make sure 
we only filter out paths that are to prefab assets. So for that, we first need to import system dot link and let's apply a where filter. So this filter will be applied to each of the path in the list, which is returned by get all asset paths. So we want to make sure that each of these paths ends with a dot prefab string. And uh, for the comparison, we want it to be ignore case. And then we want this to turn back into an array of strings. So get all asset paths is going to return a list of all the paths to all the assets. Then for each of these paths, we apply a filter where the path needs to end with a dot prefab and uh, we finally convert that back to an array. So now we want to load each of these prefab. So let's go through the list of prefab paths. So for each string path in prefab paths, we will load the prefab asset. So we're going to query asset database again, say load asset at path. And uh, we want to let it know that we are loading an asset of type game object and then give it the path. So now we have loaded the prefab. After that, we are going to get all the components on this prefab. So let's do that. Create a component array called components and say prefab dot get components of type com component. So we have all the components on this prefab. And now we are going to check if any of these are null. If so, this prefab has missing components on it. So for each not color, oh, com sorry, for each component. Yeah, so for each component, component in components. I hope that's not too confusing. So if this component is null, if component equal to equal to null. So now we want to in create an instance of this prefab in the scene because this prefab has a missing component. So before we do that, let's create a parent to hold all these instances so that uh, it's easy to find them. So let's create a empty game object called parent. And in here, if parent is null, let's create a new parent and let's give it a name saying a uh, missing component objects. And now since this prefab has a missing component, we are going to create an instance of this prefab. And then we are going to add this as a, as a child to the parent. And now we can yeah, now we can safely break out of this loop because we have already instantiated this. So let's save this and uh, go back to Unity. And now if we click on component and click on find objects with missing scripts, it's going to create this parent called missing component objects. And if we expand this, you can see that it has instantiated all the prefabs with a missing script. So there you go, it's working. One more thing you can see is this check we do over here, we are just checking for nil components because we want 
to find objects with missing components on them. But you can modify the script to do anything you want. Like if you want to find objects or prefabs with a particular component attached to them, you can do that easily. Or say if you have a script that has some value and you want to find all the prefabs that have a particular value in that component, you can do that as well. So you can change the script to fit your needs. So I hope uh, this tutorial is helpful for some of you all. And if you like this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you have any further ideas for any other tutorials I should be doing on this channel, uh, leave it in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.